more shocking revelations have been released about Shanquilla Robinson's mother. Really, you need to choose your friends carefully after you hear this. All right, so according to Neighborhood, more information is being revealed about the death of Shanquilla Robinson and the reports are very contradicting to say the least. The Charlotte Observer was able to obtain the official police report and turn out Shanquilla was alive. Listen to this. Shanquilla was alive when paramedics first arrived on the scene, despite initial report claiming she died 15 minutes after sustaining injuries. The information from the police report shows that at 2.13 p.m. on October 29th, medical, uh, medical help was summoned to the Villa Lenders 32. The vacation home Shanquilla and the others were staying in Kabul. About an hour later, Dr. Carolina uh, Beatriz Onelas hmm, Gutierrez, I hope I didn't murder her name, of the American Medical Center, a local hospital, arrived to treat Robinson. It is unclear in the, re in the police report um, except who called for medical okay so it's not clear who did call for medical help but the report uh, but the reporting person is listed as Wenta Donovan one of the six people identified as the person Robinson was traveling with Dr Gutierrez says she was told Robinson had drunk a lot of alcohol and the medical uh, the medical call was for Robinson to be given an IV the police record indicate that, indicates that Gutierrez found a female understood in the report to be Robinson with stable vital signs but dehydrated, unable to communicate verbally and appearing to be uh, inebriated. The doctor reported that she believed Robinson needed to be transferred to a hospital but her friends insisted that she be treated in the villa doctor this this is just this is this is just annoying her friends insisted that she should be treated in the villa dr gutierrez attempted an iv but was reported unsuccessful after an hour of treatment she began to have seizure the convulsion um the convulsion from the seizure lasted less than a minute donovan then called 911 again to get an ambulance to the house around 4 20. the doctor along with a, a friend began administering cpr at 4 49 pm after no pulse was detected police arrived and talked with the uh, doctor who was uh, treating robinson at 5 25 pm paramedics reported uh, uh, reportedly administered a total of 14 rounds of cpr five doses of adrenaline and six discharges of aed shocks without success unable to revive robinson Gutierrez declared her dead at 5 57 pm now did y'all Remember when this doctor arrived there? They said this is at about 2.13 p.m., right? Up until 4, and she's been declared dead at 5.25 p.m. Now, what? She's been declared um, dead, sorry, at 5.57 p.m., okay? That's when she was at 5.57, okay? So, as at 5.25, the paramedics and all of that, they were still trying to do what they can do to see if they can resusc resuscitate her. Now, what I don't understand is, as a doctor, should you be listening to people that, well, I don't know what the laws are in different countries, different states, different region, different places with different, but should you be listening to people that have no medical uh, experience when you knew the lady should be transported to the hospital? That's what should have been done.